Hi guys, welcome to Quest for Gold, except this time with a twist. I'm not live commentated, I just went and played a game with the Peacekeeper. And I'm just going to sort of live commentate over it and uh, sort of just talk about my gameplay and uh, see what I did right and what I did wrong. So first of all, I tried to avoid the middle because the middle on this particular map grind is a death trap. You do not want to be in there because there's going to be all sorts of snipers camping in that sort of like top window on the other side of the spawn. Uh, here I'm not rushing into battle. I think that's one of the things I did pretty well in this game. Like I didn't go into the hot zones. I waited around the hot zones and got kills from people that were wounded. And uh, this is where the, uh, the millimeter scanner really comes in use. Uh, it can just see through walls, pinpoint. There's a, there's better examples in this particular game than that one there. But again, uh, I think your teammates as well. Like my teammates are all up ahead of me, so I know that there isn't going to be anybody behind me. Plus, I see that there's someone spawning there, which means that uh, there isn't going to be any teammate. There isn't going to be enemies over there. And again, here, look at that. I can just see where he is. I don't have to make a move. Look at that. I can see exactly where he is. Uh, take him out nice and easy get a headshot uh, closer to that uh, that gold peacekeeper so I take this guy's tag um, again I don't want to rush up there because there's potentially enemies over there so I turn back and I just try and look for something else like for something better to do and I catch this guy here he was rightly wounded because he'd been in a gunfight and look I was on his side he's not ever he didn't know I was there he's never gonna win that gunfight like, you have to get gunfights that, that you can win. Like you don't want to have, you don't want the enemy to have a chance. That's the whole point of this kind of thing. Um, again, I know that there's a guy up here. I ads. I don't rush up there. And the tag here, like I'm really tempted to go for the tag, so I go for the tag. Like it doesn't cost me my life here, but sometimes taking those dog tags can potentially ruin your streak and uh, ruin your life. I get this guy here. He's facing away, which makes that nice and easy for me. And uh, back to the back to the tag thing. And, uh, actually, I want to talk about this. This uh, I, I I was ADS, and then I stopped aiming down sight because I didn't think someone was going to come. And then someone did come, and then it got spruced all over my face. Not to be sexual in any way. So I'm over here using those EMP grenades, using those as a sort of a stun check. I get that hit marker. I know that there's someone around here. I'm aware of his presence, and I and I get an EMP assist as my teammate takes him out. The red dot tells me that there's someone up there camping that little head glitch kind of thing there, and I get taken out by a shotgun in the same room. Now he got he won that gunfight simple because I was sprinting, and he had a shotgun, and that shotgun is perfect for that gunfight in that situation. So. But we're with the Peacekeeper, and I would use, say that if I, this was a shotgun gameplay, but it isn't. But with the Peacekeeper, you want to be keeping your di your your targets sort of medium, or short range to medium. And this this VSAT is a help, but unfortunately I fail miserably. Again, I'm aiming down sight, and then I stop aiming down sight. This guy gets his strafe on and kills me. You should never die whilst an orbital VSAT is up. There's no excuse to die, because you can see what way the enemy is pointing on the minimap. And again, that guy ran into my grenade. A very decent grenade. I'm pretty good with my grenades. Like, I get a lot of kills with them. And that's one of the things I'm proud of. Um, I'm waiting for these guys to make their move. Like, why should I rush over there and die? I've got that orbital VSAT up in the air for me. I know where these guys are coming from. And I have got a, a likely chance of winning all these gunfights. So this guy, he's completely oblivious. He's just sprinting. I knew he was going to be there. And you just gotta, you just gotta instigate gunfights and make sure that you win them. Um, again, another stun check. I mean, I don't really mind EMPing myself. It's not a problem for me. And uh, this turns out uh, fine up here. I think I get a kill. Yep, I did get this kill. Um, that was a sort of a lucky gunfight. He knew I was there. I knew he was there. It's a fair gunfight. Kill but my, my shots were a little bit more on target than his, and uh, that's what caused me to win that gunfight. I get a nice assist there. As uh, I know that there's a guy out there again, I just, just don't rush out into the heat, you know. Just take your time, and uh, this guy gets me. It's really annoying. So I'm 8 and 5. I think I was close to a streak there, I'm not entirely sure. And uh, Back to the drawing board, I guess. Trying to get those streaks again. I think I do call them all in. I don't want to spoil it or anything. Again, a nice little double trouble there. That head glitch, those guys were sprinting out in the open. I had a head glitch. There was no way they were going to win that gunfight. No way. Unless lag kicked in or something like that. Again, I sort of make a mistake here by firing on the wrong guy. That's what I do a lot in this game. I fire on the wrong guy. So if there's two guys, I will fire on the one that's further ahead of the guy that's in front of me. So that guy knows I'm there and then he can then shoot me. 
And this guy, uh, I kind of get lucky this one because uh, he gets killed, he gets taken out by the Lodestar. And uh, that's what uh, keeps me alive in that particular situation. And I get a free tag, which is always important. So I'm sort of on my streak. I'm close to my lightning strike. And, you know, I really want to get this lightning strike because I tried before and it, and it didn't work out. And uh, so I'm back on the streaks. And I'm ready to uh, start killing. This guy's AFK. I love those free easy kills and the easy tags. I'll give me them all game long please Friendly this game UAV this guy inbound. again that's a fair gunfight I sort of knew he'd be there Kill but confirmed. and then the classic black ops 2 host migration don't we love them we love them host migrations really we love them no we don't we hate them so we're back in the game uh, I've got my lightning strike and I'm not sure whether to call it in or not so I'm I'm in their spawn so to lay down prone and call it in is a little bit risky because the enemies can come around and find you and they can shoot you whilst you're operating your machinery. But I do it anyway and I'm, I, I don't know how many kills I get with this, I can't quite remember off the top of my head. Uh, yep, I get one kill, it drops on that guy's head right in front of me um, and my teammate picks up my tag. No he doesn't, pick up my tag teammate. I don't like it when uh, teammates don't pick up your tags because it's all about the win baby, like you know. Getting the tags and getting high scores is, is fun, but winning the game is also adds a little bit more to it. I get this guy, who's most probably wounded, that's why that was so easy from that distance. And this guy, facing away, sprinting down the middle of a hot spot in, the, in, in, uh, in our spawn. He was always going to die in that situation. He was in our spawn, sprinting, facing away, and I get shotgunned in the mouth right there. He managed to keep his uh, engagement in close quarters, and that's why he won that particular gunfight. Uh, no, I think no, I think I get my streaks this life actually, unless I already no, yeah, I get them this life, not that life. Sorry, as uh, my mistake of not remembering what happened in the gameplay. Again, this guy run out into run out through a doorway into the enemy uh, into enemy fire, and that's what got him killed. I'm not really analysing my gameplay here. I'm analysing the other guys' gameplay. So again, a little bit of a uh, bouncing Betty knowledge for you there. Don't worry about bouncing Betty's. If you come up to one, just duck or go prone and they'll blow up and you'll be fine. Simple as. Um, again, I get out of there. I run away from that gunfight because uh, I'm being fired on from behind. I know that there's a guy behind this van, so I just shoot him in the legs and because shooting people in the legs kills you. Well done. <laughs> enough of what uh, enough of moaning at Call of Duty anyway I know this guy is here because he's firing his gun off like an umpty and uh, nice and easy kill this guy was sprinting up the stairs nice and easy kill just like being in the right place at the right time making sure that you know where people are and you've got a, an idea of where enemies are you're gonna win your gunfights placing down this lightning strike I don't know how many kills I get probably not that very that many I get one. Okay. So the lightning strike wasn't that effective this particular game, and I get this guy because he was in a gunfight, and uh, I sort of had the cover of that door uh, that doorway. I wasn't that easily visible. Now I'm close to my uh, stealth chopper here, so I'm being really careful. I'm not running anywhere. I'm being very defensive. I'm keeping here. I'm aiming down sight. I know that there's guys in that building, and I'm just waiting for them to come out. So I move away and let things happen over there and try to check down that sort of a left right. And then I'm shooting here, and that's a bad decision I made there. I was shooting, and I became known to the enemy. So I, I went back. I went back, and I let a uh, crazy killer here deal with it. And uh, nice easy kill, laying down prone ready for that gunfight and I get my stealth chopper and that gets me my orbital VSAT and I think that's a very successful streak that I went on here and I don't think it stops here a little bit of pre-fire just in case he came around the corner because the most likelihood is that he'll have been uh, wounded from the gunfight that he was in previously and I get my merciless kill streak right there and I'm on my way to my next set of kill streaks like if this game was longer I would probably could have cycled through them a couple of times as I was on a roll here I was really concentrating and this guy he had a good strafe here. This was a really good strafe from him. Like, I couldn't get on target as much as I tried. But again, the millimeter scanner helps me here. I know where he is. And uh, nice easy kill. And uh, get, I think someone gets a C4 kill on him. Yep, crazy kill against the C4. And I get the assist. And uh, I kill this guy. And then I kill this guy in the corner. I get his tag. And that ends the game. So, in retrospect uh, make sure that you instigate the gunfights and that they're on your terms keep your engagements to your guns advantage and uh, you'll do well like I did in this game there we go nice uh, little kill on uh, this guy here pick up the tag thank you for watching please like and subscribe and peace out